This is Tom from Chelsea Grin, and you're watching Sonic Perspectives. Another vocalist on this album is the late and certainly great Trevor Sinad. How does it feel to continue his legacy? And also, I mean, as far as my knowledge goes, be maybe the last thing that we'll hear from him? I'm going to tell you this right now, bro. Um, that guy was my hero. That was somebody that, look, I'm sure you'll hear a lot of people speak very highly of that guy. I don't, I don't want to be that guy, but I was never best friends with him, but he knew my name. He remembered me every time I saw him. One of the first memories I had with him was when I was in my first band. And uh, I remember we were outside, or it was just me outside, and it was right after their set or whatever. And I remember I was standing by the trailer, and I saw this, like, shadowy figure just come out of, like, the darkness. It was because Trevor was a taller dude, you know, and mm. I heard, hey, little Tom. And I, I remember I was like, oh, boy, what is this? And I remember seeing him walk out of the darkness with his fist like this. And I was like, this is my moment. This is my moment. Because, like, I've never had a one-on-one -on -one <laughs> true, like, bro moment with him. Because, again, Miasma was what, what really got me into – death metal vocals you know trevor yeah. oh yeah bro everybody wow. everybody can act like you know they have their certain things like Who's about? i would sit in my car every fucking day and scream that record every day as a kid wow. and to be on tour with him now let me fast forward he puts his hand out i'm, sorry, I'm a little bit adhd with this shit That's he puts okay. his hand out and i go to to dap him up and he takes my hand and he puts it under his and he closes something into my hand and he goes, great show. You're a wizard. And I'm like, thanks man. And then you hear Trevor, Trevor, Trevor. from like 30 fucking people, you know, they came out the back door. They want to see Trevor and you hear him go, he goes, dude, he calls and he goes and he leaves. <clears throat> he walks away from me. Yeah. I open my hand it is the most, Purple, green, orange, <clears throat> colored marijuana I've ever seen in my life. I, I and knew I it, remember, I, yeah, I knew it. I put that shit in my hand, and I remember I looked around, and I was like, "Oh my god!" And I like hid it inside my backpack. And the second I got home from tour, I would take a nug out every other day, smoke it, and I would write to it. And I would, bro, it was so spiritual for me. Like that was from his hands to mine with his loving words. And that was like one of the only true moments I ever had with the man. And granted, you know, I played other shows with him yeah. past that moment, but they were very quick, but that was the one, the one thing that like really set with me. And yeah, he was a great man. Good man inspired me to be everything that I am now with vocals. And, uh, uh yeah i just think about that man and uh it's crazy to think about um sorry i'm getting weird for a second it's uh that's completely fine it's crazy to think about because you know he's, he's it's a shame it's really a shame it's almost like i wish he had my number so he could have called me if, not saying that i would have uh changed anything in his mind but just to be able to uh say something to him yeah. let him know how great he is how special he is how how big of a influence he was on my life and you know yeah it's cool it's very cool to have a piece of his voice on a song with me because that's something i've always wanted my entire life uh yeah super it's like makes me kind of like hunch over thinking about it because it like it's heavy shit dude it's yeah. it's almost like uh again it's like I wish you had my number but again you know everybody wants to do what they want to do and I'll never I'll never damn anybody for any decision they want to do and you know you know everybody does what they want and miss him mm. can't say that I miss him like his mother can't say I'm, or I miss him like his father cuz I know his father misses him and I know 
his mother passed away a few months before. You know, I mean, dude, it's a lot of shit. It weighs on people. It does a lot of shit. I'm not even going to act like I know any reason why he did anything. All I can say is, like, uh, I just wish I was closer with him so he maybe could have called me so I could have helped. But again, I didn't know him like that. I knew him mm -hmm. in the way I knew him, and that was my gift from him, you know, to be friends with him in the way that I, you know, I got to. And, yeah, it was cool. He's a super cool guy, and I'm honored he is on this record. Yeah, I'm very honored. And your performance on Forever Bloom, for some reason it stands out to me a lot. Because I want it to sound exactly like Trevor. That is the whole reason that song was written that way. I heard that song and went, I want to sound like, like, that was like, this is about, it literally, I remember I, I talked to Steve and I was like, yes, 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 yes. I want to, I'm literally going to do Trevor highs on this is what I said. Like I wanted to sound just like Trevor. And what are the odds? He manifests and he's on the song at the end. That was, I, that, I, that song was written that song was written to be like, man, maybe Trevor will jump on. And he did. And he did. And he did. So, again, I believe in manifestation. I do. Because yeah. we put that energy into that shit. And, again, he, he's always been a fan of CG before I was even in the band. So I might even act like, you know, it's, you know, he did it because. No, he did it because he's always loved Chelsea Grin. And he's always asked to be on a record. I know that because Stevens told me. He's like, ah, oh, give me a chance. I want to be on the record. And. It's so fucked that the one time we get that chance, he's not here anymore for me to be like, yeah, look what you did. You're the man. Like, mm. just, you know, just yeah. give him that praise, which I'm sure he got as often as, as anybody in his position would get. But I wanted to give it to him just to be like, yeah. dude, you're the man. You know, and yeah. again, that was somebody I looked up to more than, anyone in this scene because that was the one person who I've met in any band that I have met that has given me human interaction. I've met many people in many bands and it's very like, Oh, I got 50,000 likes. Like, like who's collab, blah, 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 whatever. Fuck off. You know what I mean? It's like, that was like the original metal guy that was like free from the internet, free from all this shit. He was just like, bro, he had fucking heartburn tattooed on his gut. You know what I mean? Like, he just didn't fucking care. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. I, I look, forgot, bro. Look. I think I forgot about that, actually. You see that, and you're just like, this guy was just the fucking man. You see him on stage, and he's fucking shaking his fucking arms around. You see heart burned. Do, 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 do. I remember watching Majesty for the first time and being like, ah. it's like a kid watching that tour documentary, being like, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. And just being like, man, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. And that fucking one day came and it left so fast, so fast. So what does that teach me? It teach me to enjoy those moments, enjoy that, that, uh, that, uh, that, that incredible thing that I thought would never happen, but it did. And in, and in short amount of time, but you know what, wherever he is, I'm sure he's in a better place. As many cheesy people like to say, you know, you're not in this realm suffering anymore. You know, you are where you wanted to be, wherever it is that is. And hey, if he could hear me right now, I hope he, he knows that I think he's the man. I think he is and will always stay the best vocalist in metal and will always stay the most genuine man in metal and will always stay my favorite vocalist because everybody else is just not as good, just not as real, just not as wholesome just not as honest and you can read it through his writing he was a biblical lyricist you read his words go look up some of the words bruh have fun that man was so smart there was words that i read in there i was like come on bro i'm not gonna fucking google this shit i remember being a kid because i was like i want to write like this i want to i want to wow people with my literature i want to be i didn't go to college I, i'm not a a book man. I'm not any of that shit, you know? 